What's up, guys? This is Enchanting Minecraft here uh, with another how to video. Or how to build, I should say, but it's in a video, so I'll skip that part that I just said because I kind of messed up. Um, so, we're going to be making a kitchen today, and this is a pretty modern kitchen. Uh, the only things we're not going to be doing are um, this outside, which of course won't really matter because kitchens aren't, aren't normally standalone buildings. And these paintings because they take freaking forever to do. So I don't want to make you guys stay here for too long. So um, first start off by uh, building a 12 by 8 floor that's checkered or whatever you want. Now that's the dimensions of the inside. The outside would be what? 13 or no, 14 by 10. So uh, keep that in mind. And you're going to want to build how many things are? Five um, bricks high and leave three in here so it's actually going to be too thick up there because that's my lighting system. Uh, don't mind that phone ringing. Do the um, delete four blocks in here for the window, two here, or actually six here because you want to have those doors. Four here, two in the back on each side, you can see. Uh, and use glass pane because it just ends up turning out better. I guess my mom was not going to get that phone, but whatever. Uh, so, as I was saying, then you're going to want to make this outline, and yes, under this there is uh, regular stone, and then put stone slab on top of it. This will be for the skylights, and i covered up where the lighting will go. So, first, we're going to do everything that needs to be done on the roof. So, you take that, the glass block, put this right on top there. Then you're going to go back inside. And of course, there's no light, so we might as well just get right to the lighting system first. So hold that thought. Okay, there we go. So you're going to want to put this in the top of all these things you made. You want to make those indentations also. They're just um, simple one by two. everything. Alright, so after you're done with that, uh, you gotta take trap doors. And you're gonna want to cover the bottoms of that. It basically kind of hides the ugly glowstone. And it kind of gives it a cooler look because the squares. I'm always one to have squares. I hate uh, rounded edges, so Minecraft is perfect for me but it's all based on blocks. Then you're going to cover the skylight, or the two skylights, I should say. This. And that's your lighting system and skylights. So, um, just from the top, you can only see the skylights. None of the light, or the glowstone, rather. Glowstone's very useful, but it's kind of ugly. So now you're going to take pistons, and these are just non-sticky pistons, and put them, I think it's, yeah. Three here and three over here. Now if you saw that glass floor that was right here in the other one, wait, maybe you can see it. No. Uh I'll be I will be showing you how to do that in a minute. But for that I, I'm gonna do all the kitchen stuff obviously, but you're gonna delete up there so you can see. So all the way. And you're gonna go up here. Well, first of all, you're going to put your piston, your two pistons there. You're going to go outside. I'm messing up a lot in this video because I'm trying to rush, but I'm trying to actually make it so you guys can actually do the full thing for it. Um, then you're going to take two redstone torches, put them here and here so that the pistons will um, expand or whatever you want to call that. Bring the stone slabs back. Uh, and that'll be our range hood, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. Uh, so, that's done, and I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of gives it that realistic look. There's your pistons, you can't even see that redstone torch. And now, of course, you're going to need a stove and range. You're going to need a pressure plate. Whoops. And the furnace, wherever it is. There it is. So, first you're going to take the furnace and put them right there, obviously. Then, whoops, you have to hit the 
you have to click the side of the wall with that because then it'll just open up the furnace. Uh, so that part's basically done. Now you're gonna delete that piston. You're gonna need a metal door. This is the refrigerator. You're gonna need a pressure plate, of course, um, and some chests. Wherever they are. Uh, fucking weird. Uh, that should be all you need. Yes, it is. So now you're gonna go off your inventory. And you're going to put a chest there and a chest there. Then you're going to go back here. Or actually, first let me do this just so we don't have to do this later. You're going to take some uh, stone. And you're going to replace that. Uh, and that with it. That'll be so that we don't have to delete that again for our glass floor. So then you're going to stand here with your back up against the chest and hit the iron door. Then you're going to put a... Um, pressure plate there. Now you're going to take your pistons again and go two away. Go one there. Wait, it has to be straight up. One there. One there. Uh, don't remember where this thing is, but one there. One there. And one there. Uh, you are going to delete that one though. Now you're going to need a block of iron button, bucket of water, a cauldron, and a lever, wherever that thing is. This is going to be for your sink and dishwasher. So you're going to put the cauldron there, fill it with water, uh, then you're going to put your block of iron and your button, that'll be your dishwasher, and then you're going to need your pressure plate on top of that. I just activated that. Well, here's how the fridge works, I should show you. It just opens, and then you can put stuff in your chest. Now you're going to go back here and get wood slabs. And yes, you should have wood slabs here because you're going to put a faucet thing there. If you don't want to, you could probably modify it to what you want to do. You probably just put pistons or something there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want the lever to be facing towards you. And that's your basic sink. Now you're going to take pressure plates, and I recommend putting them here to give it a countertop kind of look. But you do what you want. Now let me look back at that other kitchen. Okay. Uh, for the bar stools, I kind of did something crazy. I was sitting with those stupid bar stools for like an hour trying to figure out what to do. So in the end, I just, I had it up as a bar, and I just did those in the end, I guess. I forgot what I did. I spent so much time on those stupid things. I don't want to keep you here too long, so I'm trying to rush. Uh, you're going to get stone... wooden stairs. I keep saying stone from wooden. And then you're going to go up here, and that'll activate those, just don't worry. Put one there, there, and there, and that'll be basically your, uh, you know, uh, bar, breakfast bar, or whatever you want to call it. Now you're going to need a, a fence gate and a uh, trap door. This is going to be for like basic shelves. So you're going to put the trapdoor there, there, and there. There, there, and I think I left that one blank. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, now you're going to take the fence gate and put it there. And that will be your shelf. I'm going to put it there too. And yes, I am going to put one up here just for the heck of it because it can go. Can I go there? I'm not sure. Yep, it's still open. So you can put one up there. Oh, but you don't have to. Now I'm going to do a microwave, which I almost forgot about. I forgot about it in the last thing, too. Uh, it can go anywhere, but I think in the other one, I put it here. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'll shut your gate and put that there and fix it, whatever. I'm talking very really fast. Now you're going to get a brewing stand. So take your brewing stand. I recommend putting it in the corner. That's just me. You put it anywhere you want. Customize this thing to yourself. Uh... Now I've almost forgot these shrubs. Sorry, I'm a bit disorganized, but um, that's just the way I have to be in a fast video because this could take pretty long. Um, but whatever, I should just like, not stress this. Uh, you're gonna put glowstone down and put any kind of leaves there for shrubbery or whatever you want to call that, I guess. Um, uh, just a nice little touch to make it like relaxing, I guess, and hide glowstone. Uh, now you're gonna take a piston, non-sticky, 
uh, wooden stairs, and a uh, redstone torch. So now we're gonna make a basic uh, breakfast nook. If I knew where my stupid stairs went, there we go. So you're gonna put a chair there, or wooden slab, stair back way. Um, uh, that's where I like to put them. You can put them anywhere. So then you're gonna delete down and put this here. You're gonna dig down twice, actually, and then delete that. And then put that uh, redstone torch down. And you're gonna get, I think it's a black piece of wool because we just deleted that. So you're gonna do that and put that there. Uh, the wool to replace the floor, and you can also put a painting, but I don't want to waste time because it takes me forever to get the right painting. Now you're going to take more pistons and put them like this as like a little kind of, I don't know, you could have uh, like basically a kitchen desk, I guess you would call it, I don't know. Uh, then you're going to take these or trap doors and do a shelf. Then you're gonna get a fence gate, and also you might as well get a bookshelf. I didn't do this on the original one, but I'm thinking about doing it now. Sorry for my dog barking. Uh, you're gonna put a bookshelf there. That can be your cookbooks. You're gonna put two bookshelves. Actually, I'm trying to slow down. Um, I believe I put the. Let me check. My dog is so annoying. Uh, I put them on the end. That's right. Okay, so let's go back in to the second kitchen, and put them there, and they are, and actually just put pressure plates on top of the bookshelves, if you want. I'm messing up a lot of the video I'm rushing, that'll, it goes away, so just fix them. Uh, now I guess all that's left is the, um, glass floor. I think I covered everything else. If not, don't go commenting because I know I messed up a little more than I should have. Moving on, so we're going to take a glass block, a uh, bucket of water we already have, and some glowstone. You're also going to want to get some stone. So now, don't dig here, but you're going to want to dig there, there, and you're going to want to dig down all the way to you see bedrock. Or that stuff at like, the bottom. Don't dig any further or you'll fall through the world, but that's only if you're on, um, blah, 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 blah. What's it called? Uh, Flatland, super flat. And that's what I just did. So let me repair that very fast and not fall through this world. Come on. This... There we go. Okay. So I'm trying not to make that mistake again. Make sure I'm just gonna go down here. I know. A a bunch of other people have made kitchens like this. Um, I got inspired. I was actually going to do a grocery store originally, but I got inspired to do um, a kitchen. So I uh, don't think I copied them. Uh, cause I didn't. I was just, you know, looking around and I got inspired. So I hope these people don't take it wrong, but I was getting inspired. I wasn't uh, you know, stealing your idea. Uh, so you're just going to replace this with uh, stone or whatever block of your choice that you want to see down there. I just don't want to see dirt. It kind of looks crappy. Oops. Literally. Um, I'm going to go very fast. This video is probably almost going to be over. I only have a 15 minute recording time. So just keep throwing this in. Future videos, yes, I will go after the grocery store. I will try and do that. So now you're just going to put glowstone along the bottom. So give it a you know, kind of lit feel. Like you're standing. Well, this is mainly to hear the sound of water and kind of, um, you know, soothe, I guess. Well, that's kind of the sound of water, but. Um, you know, and you're just going to want to make sure it goes up on every block. But this is basically made to give the floor, like, a not dull look because it's kind of boring, I guess. Um, so when the wall is flat and it's up to every, like, almost to the top of the block, you're going to want to put glass on it. It's like you're standing on water. It's pretty cool. And it adds some light and soothing the sound of water. That's always soothing, I find. So, that's basically it. 
uh, you can still do that because you're not allowed to put um, 